Grazie a Olivia C. Mack. Grazie coach. E a tutti i miei amici qua. Incredibile. Uh, anni fa, anni fa ho passato due anni incredibili qua a Milano. Uh, in campo e anche fuori. Uh, non so. <laughs> e i tifosi milanesi sono con i più grandi del mondo. Veramente. Grazie a tutti. Sono a defolato una scena fare italiano meglio di me, ok? Quindi okay. Eh, grande Russ. Um, well, as I said, and uh, I know you'd asked me for that video for Dino, I had mentioned the same thing that uh, I, had, I didn't know anything about the Italian League. Um, I certainly didn't know anything about Milan, um, but I remember Coach Peterson just telling me that I didn't have to worry about anything uh, because of the players that we had. He talked about Dino Meneghin, he talked about Mike D'Antoni, uh, he talked about Uh, the other players like Roberto Premier and, and Franco Bozzelli and he, he named all these names um, and, and they're all great players and, and just trying to put my mind at ease that, that I didn't have to do everything that, that I could just come and play and be comfortable and that helped a lot. That helped a lot and then when I got here uh, the guys were great. They, they all uh, took me in as if I was one of them and, and made, it, made it very easy to To, to fit in. I didn't know anything about it because I didn't, I couldn't read the papers and coach didn't tell me anything and, and Mike D'Antoni uh, didn't, didn't tell me anything and Wally was in the same position I was. He, he didn't speak the language. He, we couldn't read the papers. Um, I was struggling partly because I was coming off of a back surgery and I was working my way back into shape and partly because I didn't know the, the Italian league, I guess. Um, but I didn't know that there was this struggle going on and I didn't know that, that there were calls for, for replacing me. Um, I was just playing and trying to, trying to get myself back to the form that I had before my injury. And uh, Coach Peterson's faith in me uh, that I was the player, the right player for this team with this group of guys was basically the reason I, I stayed, uh, that, 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 the, that the team kept me, and, and it clearly worked out for both of us in the end, that I, wasn't, I was able to get back to the form I had before and I, so that I, I could be the player he thought I could be, and I, didn't, I tried not to let him down. That was a little bit of an adjustment, but, um, but I had played small forward in the NBA already. Uh, with Philadelphia, um, offensively, I played the, uh, the small forward, or, or I'm sorry, defensively, I played the small forward a lot because I could, I could keep guys in front of me and, and I could move. And then um, offensively, I played alongside Dr. J, so I was uh, my first year, so I played the four position with him. But then when he would go out and go to the bench, sometimes then I would play the three position. So I had, I had experience at the small forward, but not, not a lot, and I got most of it when I got here. I just remember that uh, uh, Joe Barry fouled out, and it was an important game, and, and, uh, and I really wanted to, to uh, not let the team down, and, and it was one of those nights where things just went my way, and, and uh, I, I just played very well at the right time, and, and uh, I, i don't know the, the magic potion, um, it's just it, things work that night. I didn't realize that I had played that well. I think I, I, there were many, many very good uh, uh, foreign players or American players in, in the Italian league. I think, I think playing on such a good team in Milan helped, uh, but that I was one of the leaders on on the best team in Italy uh, certainly certainly helped a lot with that but I I, I, I feel I played well um, as far as whether I was the best player what the best American player in the league it's a it's a great compliment and I'm 
I'm, I'm glad someone thought I was, but uh, for me, it was the, the biggest thing was that we, you know, we won a second, a second championship when, when a lot of, I, I know there were a lot of writers and publications in the beginning of the season that thought we couldn't win without Joe Barry Carroll, that when he went back to the NBA that, that Milan would, would fall. And we all took that personally and we wanted to show that we were still the best team in Italy. And, and we did. I had got myself back into form and, and I was healthy and I was still young enough. I wanted to see, I still wanted to test myself in the NBA and see if I could play in, at that level. Um, it had nothing to do with Milan or the, or the organization. It was strictly a chance to, to prove to myself that I could play in the NBA again after, after my surgery. And uh, I just took that opportunity. And um, as, as you know, I, I did wind up back in Italy anyway later on. But, uh, but at that time, it was important to prove that to myself, that I could play. That was a lot of fun. Um, it was, it was a, a great accomplishment for an A2 team to, to win the cup and to beat Milan uh, for that, that championship was, was um, uh, it wasn't, I, I don't want to say it made me happy, but, uh, but I know the kind of uh, team and organization that we had to beat, you know, to win that, that championship. And then the fact that Mike was coaching and, and uh, told us that we couldn't win before the game, and, and, uh, and then we were able to. That was very satisfying. Uh, yeah, I've done a few things, uh, restaurant business for a little while. I had always been coaching, uh, but it was always on a volunteer basis, and then I, I was coaching at the University of Washington for two years. Um, but then after that, I was back to volunteering at the high school level. Um, I liked to be on the court with the with the young players, uh, but I always had other had other um, I guess jobs. I was in the real estate business and the, and the construction business, and and so I that took a lot of my time. So that's why I, I was always a volunteer, so that I wouldn't feel guilty if I couldn't be there, that I wasn't taking a paycheck to and then not being able to be with the kids.